All right, so in this video, I'm going to go through how you actually author a bow tie question. So once you have chosen bow tie as your question type, we'll go, to, we'll go down here to the first part where it's asking for a prompt. Now this is where you can populate basically the instructions for what you want the learners to do in the bow tie. I'm just going to go ahead and paste in some information here that I have on my other screen. Um, so there are the instructions for what I want learners to do. Next, you'll see uh, basically three sections here that represent the three parts of the bow tie. The actions to take, potential conditions, and parameters to monitor. Uh, and what it's asking you to do to start is to provide the correct responses in these fields. So what I can do is uh, just specify um, the two responses that are the correct responses for this question. Now, of course, I, I don't want to have just correct answers. I want to have some potentially uh, incorrect answers as well. And to do that, I'll click on the Add Distractor. And this is where we add in some incorrect answers. OK, so we have some incorrect answers as well. And now I can basically go through and do the same thing for the other two sections. So potential conditions, I'll have just one correct answer, but then I want some incorrect ones as well. Okay, and then of course, lastly, we have the param parameters to monitor. There's our two correct answers, and there's our incorrect answers. Um, and I, can do, I could do more than uh, five, I could do six, seven, eight, you can do really as many uh, options as you want for each of these. So once I am happy with what I have created there, I'll scroll down uh, and I can actually click on preview to see what this will look like. And so here we can see what that looks like. And uh, one thing I'll point out is that once this quiz is fully complete and available for learners, uh, the choices will be shuffled. I know that right now the correct answers are all at the top, but that will be shuffled so that uh, it'll be random uh, which where, where they are uh, sorted. Um, one other thing I'll mention very quickly is that the bow tie questions in ADAPT are set up as checkboxes instead of drag and drop. And this is for accessibility reasons. We want to make sure that learners who may have a visual impairment are still able to uh, respond to the questions and able to navigate the system in an accessible way. And that's why we opted to use checkboxes. But the same functionality still exists. So I can respond here, do some correct, do some incorrect, and see what it looks like. Okay, So that is just an example of the preview. Um, then once you are done with your question, you can go ahead and click on Save. 